welcome to the Storybook Show. Once again, my name is Ryan. Thank you for joining me this evening. And tonight's episode deals with bullying and what it really means to be a hero. So please enjoy Jesse the Rabbit. Jesse the Rabbit was eating a carrot in a green meadow one sunny day. He watched the other animals run around and play, and he admired them. He had always been the shy one, and they were always playing without him. They made fun of him because he got startled so easily. You see, if a tree fell somewhere in a forest, he would rush into his rabbit hole and hide for the rest of the day. Oh, you're such a scaredy cat, Jesse, Teddy the Cub once said when he passed by him. You never have any fun. But Jesse the Rabbit was a cautious and wise rabbit. He knew better than to ignore every single sound. I may look stupid and scared, but I'll always be prepared for danger, thought Jesse. He would hide and curl up every time he heard a crack or saw a shadow loom over his hole. The one fine day, a crack in the distance was heard. A tree fell down and a light brightly burned. Jesse darted into his hole while the other animals continued frolicking around. Jesse shouted as loud as he could, run! But nobody heard him. So he jumped inside his hole and curled up into a ball. While Jesse was hiding, he could still hear the others laughing. Then all of a sudden, Jesse heard some squeals, some running, and, and then the beaver started shouting, the forest is on fire, the, the forest is on fire! Everybody run! The fire's spreading! The beaver continued to shout as he ran past Jesse's hole. The whole forest was in a wild panic. Trampling over everything, the animals ran away, leaving behind a cloud of dust and the forest on fire. Only Jesse was left in his hiding place, safe beneath the ground. Jesse had cleverly stashed away a supply of food and water in his hole. He knew that one day danger would come and he wanted to be prepared. He was relieved to know he had enough supplies to last until the fire was over. In the distance, Jesse could hear a loud squeal. Help! Somebody help me, please! Jesse didn't want to come out of his hole as he knew the fire was spreading, but he heard the squeal a second time and a third time. Jesse couldn't just hide in his hole while somebody was out there on his own. Jesse slowly raised his head from his hole. He could see the flaming trees all around him. He heard another squeal and turned his head to see Teddy the cub lying down with his leg caught beneath a thick, fallen branch. The ground around him was burning and the fire was getting closer. Jesse was very scared, but he couldn't leave Teddy there. Puffing and puffing, he rushed with incredible speed towards Teddy. Jesse, please, you need to find a way to get this thing off me, said Teddy. Jesse started running around looking for a way to help. Jesse saw the other side of the branch had started to burn and it was becoming thinner. Then he had an idea. He grabbed some of the nut casings that he had stored the water in and ran back towards Teddy. He rushed towards the branch and poured the water on it. The branch was now thin and wobbly, but Teddy still couldn't get his foot free. So Jesse gathered all his strength and in a single dash, smashed his body against it. A crack was heard and the branch broke in half, freeing Teddy. He slowly got up and approached Jesse. Teddy was surprised at Jesse's heroism and even more surprised at how he had managed to free him. He saw Jesse lying down. Jesse was looking very tired, so he picked him up and rushed away from the fire into the cool hills nearby. A few days later, the, all the animals had settled into a new place in the woods where the fire hadn't reached. Everyone was still playing, but something had changed. Teddy the cub was taking care of Jesse the rabbit, who was still recovering. No one laughed at Jesse anymore, for he had saved their friend, and they knew of his courage. From that day on, all of them followed in his footsteps and have been careful to this day. They now know that being careful does not mean that you're not brave. So that was Jesse the Rabbit. Um, I think a takeaway that I have from it is that, I mean, it, it, it really sums it up in the, in the last sentence, right? Uh, just because you're being cautious doesn't mean that you're not brave. I find that a lot of times people will be extra cautious and nervous about a bunch of different possibilities maybe happening that might not be realistic but they're nervous that they might and you know sometimes they might get made fun of for that but to be honest 
it kind of makes sense, right? Because what if there is a, a, a forest fire, right? And you're Jesse in your hole and you're like, I, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to hide out like I always do. Now, that's not the answer. Because as much as it's good to be prepared, you also have to be able to act on it. Because Jesse was prepared for himself at all times. But then what did he do? He saw that his friend was in danger, and he got up, and he helped him. And that, uh, that is true heroism. Jesse wasn't just thinking about himself anymore. He, he, he was prepared. He had his food, he had his water, he was good to go. And he, he, he was always good to go. Any, any little, any sign of danger. And he was in this hole, he was hiding out. And he didn't owe them anything. They were nothing but, they were, they were making fun of him. There was no reason for him to go out there and do what he did, but he did it anyway, because Jesse's a hero. That's what heroes do. Even if somebody's not always nice to you, if they are in a position where they need help and you are in a position where you can give help you should always give help it's just it's the right thing to do and that's what jesse taught us so thank you once again for tuning into this episode of the storybook show i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time